This is the first video in a series all about HTML emails. By the end of the series, you'll be able to design, build and test HTML emails. You'll also have the knowledge to avoid the common mistakes that are easy to make. There are some clear advantages to HTML emails. They look great, you can add colors, pictures and nice fonts. Branding can be strengthened when you include a logo and social media buttons. HTML emails can be given a structure which makes them easier to skim read. A good structure can guide the reader to the most important points. Links can be made prominent, which means that you can include a strong call to action. Sending an HTML email looks professional. There are also some instances where plain text email is better. Plain text email can be more personal, if you send an email to a friend, it is almost always plain text. There is no doubt that it is much faster to simply send a plain text email. You can just type and send. Once you've decided that HTML email is right for you, and before you delve into creating the code for your email, it is worth spending some time designing what your email will look like. Avoid common templates. People subconsciously associate templates with junk mail and emails that use templates might not get read as much as they should. Also avoid garish colors for the same reason. Less can be more. It can be a good tactic to keep your design minimalist as it keeps the personal association of the plain text email but also has the advantages that HTML emails provide. It is very important to write your code specifically for email clients. You have to follow different rules from writing HTML for websites. Here are some examples. Don't use divs, instead use tables. When including CSS, don't link to external style sheets, instead use inline styles. Avoid paragraph tags, instead use line breaks. Don't use any JavaScript at all. Web fonts and at font face are unreliable. Stick to web safe fonts. When including special characters, don't just type the character, include the correct HTML entity. Keep the file size down. Some email clients will cut off emails that are bigger than 110 kilobytes. If you follow the rules above, your email will work well. However, it is worth testing before you send your email to your list. You can do this by either sending it manually to a bunch of different email clients or use an email testing tool. So that's a brief overview of HTML emails. In the next video, we'll consider the design of emails in more detail. Simple.